Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I wanted to show you just how easy it is to use your Ninja Foodie to cook a whole roasted chicken. The skin on this chicken is really, really crispy and it's so tender and moist too. You know, once you cook a chicken using one of our Kitchen Gadgets, you just will not go back to the oven. As well as this recipe, we have more than a thousand recipes for you to choose from over at RecipeThis.com with a common theme of cooked with kitchen gadgets. We have air fryer recipes, instant pot recipes, slow cooker recipes, soup maker recipes, bread machine recipes and many others. We can't wait to see you over there to check out the rest of our collection. So people often ask, as food bloggers, what do you actually eat all the time? And people are surprised when I say whole chickens because I love the fact that I can get these smaller whole chickens on sale at my grocery store and then I can freeze them in bulk and then cook them in the air fryer, in the pressure cooker or however I like whenever I feel like it. So then I save them in these little Ziploc bags and then I can season them on the bag and I'm saving on washing up. So this is the chicken that we've got here to show you today. So what I recommend you do is you start off with some extra virgin olive oil and then you season it. You can season it however you want. Think of your favourite rotisserie chicken flavours. We today are showing you how to do it with salt, pepper, some mixed herbs, which if you're in America, you can exchange this for Italian seasoning and some basil. And then once you've done that, you do the same on the other side. The thing is you want to be cooking it first breast side down. So this is the side that will be getting cooked first. So again, give it a good rub, season it with salt first, add as much or as little salt as you want, you know, some of us like more, some of us like less. And then the mixed herbs is my favourite because it's just one thing you can keep in the cupboard and use in so many different recipes. And then of course the basil. Basil just gives it that lovely flavour. So now what you've done is you've seasoned it on the packaging and it is ready to go into the Ninja Foodie. So all I do is lift it up and place it in the Ninja Foodie basket. This is the air fryer basket we're using here. We're not pressure cooking it today because it's just as easy to do an air fryer version rather than a pressure cooker version. And then you place your lid down and then it's time to set the time and temp. So now it's time to set the time and temperature. Firstly, you want to head for the air fry crisp button. And then you want to put the temperature down to 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit. And then set the time to 30 minutes. Then after the 30 minutes, when it beeps, it's the signal that it's time to turn it over and do the same again. And we've baked. Now, Dominic's going to show you the easy way to turn your chicken over using a fork. So as you can see, he gets the fork fully in, got a good grip of it, and you turn. And as you can see, all the lovely oil and seasoning is still on the other side, so you don't need to adjust those. You can simply place the lid back down and do another 30 minutes on the same temperature just for the other side. And when it beeps, it will be done. And we've beeped. So let's check on our chicken, shall we? And wow, doesn't that chicken look amazing? As you can see, it's perfectly crispy and we just want it to cool down for a bit and let it rest and then we'll slice it up and see how delicious it tastes. 
So this is our ninja foodie whole chicken. And this is what I like to do with a whole chicken when nobody's looking, is pinch some of the skin and give it a try. Mm, that skin is absolutely delicious. It's lovely and crispy thanks to the air fryer. And it's full of flavour thanks to the seasonings on it. And when you look through at the chicken breast, the chicken breast is perfectly cooked. And perfect for slicing for dinner. In the Milner house, what we tend to do is we tend to have a whole chicken like this and then use different gadgets to cook some vegetables and then we choose whichever part of the chicken that we prefer. So I'm always for the breast and the kids are always pinching my skin. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 